everyone, I'm Grand Hall, and welcome to, well, a Sega game. Not Nintendo this time. For once, I'm playing a Sega game. Oh no, not an evil alien force! E evil alien momentums are much better. Momentums? Momenta? Eh. Whichever. That is a great name for an evil tyrant. Greedy. Oh no, not the legendary hero! Clearly they need to have a new legendary hero brought in. So is this guy somehow related to Gino? Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Okay, I'm gonna say this is Gino's son. So this is Let's Play Rystar. And I'm going to change one thing in the options, because I'm playing this on the uh, Sonic Mega Collection for GameCube. So it, it's just better to swap that right now. And game start. I will admit, I've played this game for about, oh, five minutes so far. Also, I'm going to be somewhat bad at directional stuff because I'm on a control stick instead of a D-pad. This could be all sorts of horrible. All sorts of horrible. You know what? I'm gonna try to get up there. And it's working! Hey! I managed to get up here. Bird! What you doing? Making me accidentally grab spikes? It's, it's not cool. Hmm. That was a fairly drastic miscalculation on my part. Alright, come on, bird. What's in here? Oh, an extra man is in there. Well, an extra star, more like. I know that this game, when it was originally in development, the plan was for the main character to be a, uh, a rabbit. So I'm wondering if that rabbit enemy there was perhaps... Uh, the original design for the hero. I could definitely use that health. <laughs> I have no idea how to get that chest. Presumably it's... Well, maybe like this. Yeah, like this. Whoops. Are you health? You're not health, you're score. Not interested in score. Primarily interested in health. So back when this was in development as a game starring a rabbit, uh, the rabbit main character could grab things by its ears. Or grab things with its ears, rather. Hmm. I don't appear to have any way of getting up there. Oh well. That guy, I know he looks kind of like a boss, but he's not. He's just kind of there. Now I'm trying to ascend here. Because I wanted to grab that. I shoot off into a 1-1 one, one bonus area. Want to get the treasure. I've only got one minute! I 
Unfortunately, this wall climbing ability can be done relatively quickly. You know how I said that I had played about five minutes of this game so far? Those five minutes are pretty much all I know about this game's actual workings. Ah, that's what that was for. I probably should have shot higher over at the end. Or over toward the exit. Yep. So... Yeah, after this, uh... A after we beat the first boss here, that will be the extent of how far I've played in this game. So as you guys know. So, you know, after... Ah, blasted guy going in the foreground and the background and all wibbly-wobbledy all over the place. It's not friendly. But, uh... Yeah, after this video, the rest of this Let's Play is going to be blind! Woo! Hopefully this doesn't turn into another Adventure Island. Hopefully. So, you know, so far I'm kind of digging this game. Ah, whatever. Whatever's up there probably isn't worth it. Whatever's up there probably is totally worth it. I just... I feel like sour grapesing at the moment. I do know that I don't like those chameleon guys. Or whatever they are. Always... Staying at the worst possible spot for me. And just jumping out as soon as I'm right there! Yay! And Riho is coming. So I did discover something about this guy. Because this is going to be a boss fight, incidentally. In my five minutes of playing this game, I discovered something about him. In theory, you're supposed to wait until he's down at this height before you start attacking him. But... Oh, dang it. Even when he's up there... If he's low enough to the ground, you can still grab him. I should probably be careful. Aw, oh, really? Doing more of that weird pollen snowfall thing? Alright, but I freed this wizard guy from his corruption. Because I am a hero! And it's time to shoot off into space! In order to go to space, Kirby has to grab hold on a star and fly out that way. Rystar just needs to find a pole to swing around on. He shoots himself off on his own. Yeah. And, you know what? I think that first set of levels, you know, the first planet, that's a good amount for one video. So, I'm Granhall. See you guys next time.